Welcome to Mikon's Hardware. Usually I dislike to make videos where I discourage people from buying specific product or from supporting a specific factory or a specific producer. I don't like to make such things because factories go up and down and something might be bad, something might be good. For example, ASRock has multiple absolutely crappy motherboards, but they also have some decent motherboards. And in this particular case, I'm going to talk about a Chinese manufacturer which is making Chinese X99 motherboards. I didn't really bother to make this video in the past, but right now, since the prices are going down, more and more people are turning to me, asking me for help to solve some problems with these motherboards. In particular, I'm talking about a no-name manufacturer which is selling the motherboards under the name Atermater or Atermeter and Klisre. You can also find these motherboards under the name Chiyida, Machinist, and maybe something else. What's common for all of these motherboards is that the model name starts with ZX underscore something. Typical example is ZX underscore EV3. This is a very common motherboard, which I absolutely do not recommend to buy. I also do not recommend to buy any other motherboard from this factory. Unfortunately, I had a chance to stay in touch with some representatives from the factory and all of them have absolutely disgusting and an absolutely arrogant attitude towards their customers. Basically, they know about all of the quality issues, they know about the horrible bias, they know about missing features, but they don't want to improve anything and they don't even want to listen about it. Their attitude is very simple. We are making the product, people are buying the product, we keep making the same thing. If you don't like something about our product, shut up and don't buy it. And that's exactly what I recommend you to do. Just don't buy any of the ZX motherboards. These motherboards have all sorts of issues. Personally, I have had at least eight different motherboards and all of them had different issues. On my channel, you can find a few reviews of these motherboards, and some of them were positive, but unfortunately, a few months after the review, the motherboard is either dead or problematic. The most common issues of these motherboards are dead network card, audio card, dead PC Express X16 slots, burnt down VRM, or just instability. They also have a dual socket motherboard, which is very often refusing to start if you install two CPUs. Even if you have two absolutely identical CPUs, the motherboard simply refuses to start when you install two CPUs. What's even more frustrating is that you may assemble your computer, you can run your stress test and be happy that everything is working as it should, then two, three days later, your computer just shuts down. You don't know what has happened and you can't figure out what's wrong. You just restart your computer, you run your memory test, you run your stress test, and everything is working as it should. Again, two, three days later, your computer just shuts down. This is extremely frustrating and it is not possible to fix. This is just a problem with the quality of these motherboards. Another issue that I can mention is the memory compatibility. In general, Chinese X99 motherboards might be picky when it comes to DDR4 memory compatibility, but these ZX motherboards are in particularly picky. I have had a few cases where the same memory sticks are working in Huanan G motherboard, but refuse to work in the ZX EV3 motherboard. These were some unique ECC registered memory modules. Visually, they were basically very simple and very similar to any other module, but they were somehow unique that they worked in Huanangi and didn't work in ZX motherboard. Now let's take a quick look at AliExpress search results and I will point out these ZX motherboards that I am talking about. So here comes an Express search result. I'm just searching for X99, so I will get the default search result and AliExpress will naturally suggest me something they really want to sell and provide me the most popular options. The first one comes Machinist, then we have Huananji, and the third one is this ZX motherboard, which has been sold under the name of Atterminer. This motherboard is not Atterminer. Atterminer and Klisre are AliExpress names. These are not motherboard manufacturer or motherboard names. This is a no-name motherboard which an AliExpress store called Atterminer is selling under its brand. So this is a ZX motherboard which I strongly discourage you from buying. 
This is yet another one. Uh, this time it has been sold under brand Chiyida. And here is one more and one more. And let's scroll down. This is something unknown. I'm not sure if this one is ZX. Then we have Machinista, another Autoremiter. But this one, I'm not sure if it is ZX or no. I think this one is Machinist factory and here is the dual socket motherboard that i was talking about uh, i believe yes it's this one so i have no clue why people keep buying this motherboard and then just banning me with issues because this motherboard as i have already said sometimes just blindly refuses to start if you install two cpus everything is set up properly fine everything is done as you should have done but the motherboard simply refuses to start. Not to mention that it has all the standard problems that sometimes network card may die, sometimes audio card may die, and these PCI Express X16 slots are sometimes just fallen off and stop functioning as well. So this is another ZX that we have already seen, and this is the very popular ZX EV3, which has so many different variations that I don't even count it, but it's all the same crappy motherboard, which is very random, quality is very bad and absolutely unpredictable. There was another motherboard which looked extremely much like 100X99TF, but also ZX, and that motherboard is not any better either. It just looks like 100X99TF, but its quality is far from 100. So here is another ZX motherboard and one more and one more and as we can see they have been sold under completely different names because these are no-name motherboards. So for example this one, high quality computer store, X99 motherboard dual channel, like no this is not a high quality, this is ZX crap. Here is one more example of ZX, about this one I'm not sure if it is ZX or no because I have not tested it. And uh, let's go for the uh, next page. These are machinist ones. This is unsure. This one is ZX for sure. Going next, next, next. One more ZX. Then we have one on three machinist, machinist here. One more ZX. Uh, going further, going further. Uh, one more ZX dual socket. This one is ZX single socket, ZX dual socket, ZX dual socket. And one more ZX dual socket. As you can see, it's whole heap of these motherboards which are rather popular because of the features and price and people are usually rushing to leave positive feedback after they have assembled their computer tested that it works fine they're super happy super excited they go to aliexpress leave five stars and ban happy dandy until one day maybe in a month maybe in two months your motherboard starts to malfunction at that time, you do not have any options to leave feedback, you also do not have any options to open a dispute, thus no one gets to know that you have got a problem with this motherboard. Maybe you don't bother about this problem, maybe you have to buy external audio card or external network card to keep using this motherboard, but it stays with you and no one on AliExpress gets to know it. All in all, I will repeat again, I strongly recommend you to stay away from all of these ZX motherboards if you don't want to get into the quality issues. With this, I have to say thanks for watching, thanks for listening, bye bye.